what is good youtube back here with another tutorial and today we are working with the screen shake effect and again as i said in my last tutorial this is an effect that i use very heavily within my videos if you've been following me for the last let's say two years and yeah it's a very very effective effect when i do the effect i use a plugin which is a paid plugin by red giant and i'm going to show you what i use as well as a free version if you're using premiere pro um a built-in plugin called transform i'm going to show you how to do the screen shake using that plugin so yeah let's waste no further time and just jump straight into this one so now we're in premiere pro i'm just going to drag my clip onto the timeline to create a new sequence and this is actually a full video it's not an actual clip um this is a problem you ain't a soldier if you haven't checked out this video be sure to go and check it out it was shot and graded by me um, as you can see in this video there's a few effects and if you want me to do a tutorial on adding these effects in your videos then let me know in the comments below i'm happy to do that um, but yeah let's get started on this screen shake effect so when i'm adding screen shakes i like to use an adjustment layer and an adjustment layer basically allows you to add effects and attributes on top of your clip without applying them directly to the actual clip on your timeline so i'll show you what i mean by that and to add this adjustment layer i'm going to go over here and click adjustment layer and then just press ok this is just copying all the attributes to your sequence and from there you'll get your adjustment layer the adjustment layer is i think five seconds in length and i only want it to be about three frames in length so i'm going to go along three frames and chop the end of it off so now we've got three frames worth of an adjustment layer and as i said before i use a paid plugin by red giant called camera shake by red giant universe and it is a very cool plugin it has all the kind of what's it called um buttons that you need to control your shake and make it very unique to whatever you want it to be and i use this and tend to go to motion blur turn that on and just leave the rest the same unless i want it very specific let's say i want to turn this down or turn it up to suit a certain move that happens in the video then i'll play with these so you've got frequency master amount um scaling of the footage you've got so many controls here so it is that simple when you've got this plugin where you just drag and drop it and you can see we're getting the shape but like i said i'm going to show you a free version so let's delete this and we're going to use the transform plugin that comes with premiere pro and we'll just drop that on to our adjustment layer let's close these out and to make this effective and because we're gonna have to set keyframes i'm gonna make our adjustment layer a bit longer so i'm gonna make it maybe five frames in length and now that it is five frames in length i'm gonna go over to the transform tool and uncheck this box and what this box is doing is turning on or turning off the, the shutter angle and with that shutter angle control we can now add in motion blur which sells that kind of jittery motion shake so now that i've turned that off i'm going to come to shutter angle and turn this to 180 Basically, the higher I make this is the more motion blur we're gonna get. I tend to do 180 just because I feel like it's a, it's a nice point for a, a blur or a motion blur. And now that that's done and our motion blur is on, we're gonna turn, we're gonna, we're gonna create the shake now. So I use this, I do this by using the position. And before we do that, I'm gonna turn the keyframe on on scale as well as the position and with the scale i'm gonna leave it at 100 for the first frame go along to the next frame and turn it to 110 so 10 more pixels added to our scale um not 10 more pixels added but we're zooming in by 10 um 
and then I'm going to use the positioning vertical uh, control and move the image up until we get the black from the bottom of the image and then I'm going to go along to the next frame and do the same but bring it down and again just go to the edge of your clip just before you can see the black and again and again so it is that simple and what that is doing is basically doing a shake where we're going up and down and I've set these keyframes to tell Premiere Pro that I want it to bounce up and down between these particular keyframes so now that we've done that if I go back and I press play you can see we've got a motion shake now I'm just gonna show you what this effect looks like when it hits on the beat so I've moved it to a beat yes. you can see very very effective yeah that's it for today guys and again if you enjoyed this tutorial or it helped you in any way please feel free to like the video and subscribe because there will be a lot more coming and as i said earlier in this video if you're seeing these visual effects or you've seen the video for a problem you a soldier and enjoyed the visual effects in this video drop me a comment and i will kind of walk you through how i added these in so yeah interact with me guys i like the interaction and i will see you in the next video